Hey everyone, welcome back to the Third Age. Gonna level up Hathod here. You don't want his speed to suffer too much. I mean, yeah, he's a dwarf. He's got stubby little legs, but I don't want him just panting to catch up with us all the time. Cracked Elf Stone of Armor Enhancement. Who's got the lowest armor right now? 134, 113, 61, so Elagost. In fact, I think he's already got one. Yep. Oh, so we can only have one at a time. Well, who on that then? Who's next lowest? Barathor then. He's already got one. Okay, who doesn't have a cracked elf stone of armor enhancement? Anyone? You. You don't have one. You are now the proud owner of it. Use it in good health. Alright, so this game does not allow you to double stack your elf stone bonuses. Ow! Boo! extends further back in time. None speak of deeds that divided them, but ancient distrust still burns in the hearts of both races. Have you heard nothing Lord Elrond has said? What do you mean, none speak the of deeds? The ring must be destroyed. And I suppose you think you I know the deeds that divided them, as do most of the characters. You witness a rare thing, Gondorian. Elf and Dwarf united in uneasy fellowship. But as you travel these lands, your small company faces the same old hatreds. Unite them, 
for the remaining treasures of Moria will not be surrendered without a fight. You know, this is the thing that I see in a lot of fantasy that descends from the Tolkienian tradition. Fantasy in which you have a medieval-like world inhabited by multiple non-human races, including like elves, dwarves, often there's a hobbit ripoff. Um, is the idea that dwarves and elves hate each other. And now I'm turned around and I don't know which way I'm going. I think it's this way. Yep. And then in a lot of works, they just hate each other for no good reason, just because dwarves hate elves. That's, that's an expected convention in fantasy nowadays. And in Tolkien, it was one particular group of elves hated one particular group of dwarves because of a laundry list of historical grievances between their peoples. That I won't bore you with all the specifics, but basically back in the first age, there were disagreements where you could see how both sides had a point, but in their anger, each side took revenge too far, disrespected the other, and the wound kept being picked at over the centuries and never allowed to fully heal over. So you had a lot of resentment between elves and dwarves that could very easily blow up into hatred when provoked. Now, in a lot of modern day fantasy though, what I see is you just have, oh, elves and dwarves just hate each other for no real reason. They just can't stand each other at all. Did I get any new equipment? Oh, yes I did. Yes I did. I have a dwarven shield. You'd think it would be out of scale for use by a human, but... Okay. And... It's one of those cliches that I'd like to see fantasy start to get past. Or at least give a reason in your book why this is so. Don't just grab the what out of Tolkien and leave the guts of why dangling in your own story. If elves hate dwarves, I want to know why. Now usually when people start to explain why elves and dwarves don't get along, they'll go to just... Which is not a terrible reason. They'll go to, oh, cultural misunderstanding. They're so different they value such different things. They have such different outlooks on life that whenever they come together, they just can't get along. They just can't agree. That explains why they don't like each other, but it wouldn't explain the just crazy amounts of hatred that you see sometimes against their own self-interest in some fantasy. Oh, here we are, learning about Galadriel. You are graced, my friend, for the Lady of the Light guards and guides you. She does? The elves channel the powers of fire, air, earth, and water, for they are the firstborn. 
Should you survive, Morlia, it is likely you will see their realm. Despite the evil you carry with you. For many long ages has the Lady Galadriel fought the Shadow, but it has not claimed her. Go now and finish your task. They await you beneath the trees. Apparently I'm hauling around some evil. Nice of you to tell me that, Gandalf. You gonna tell me what it is or just... No? Okay. Hey, by the way, you're carrying something profoundly evil. Whoa. But I'm not gonna, like, tell you what it is so you could, you know, maybe take it off and leave it behind or better understand how to deal with it or... Anything like that. No, just E.T. Dubs. Evil. Evil in your pocket. Okay, who's got low protection against water? She's stout against water. Okay, the dwarf is really the one who needs the water elf stone. Besides, I think he has fewer stones than most of the other guys. I just realized how that sounded and I did not mean it that way. I am sure the dwarf is quite adequate and secure in his masculinity. Oh, no, wait. I got turned around. It's very easy to get turned around in these little linked pentagons of madness. You dare. I think I do. Okay. That was not a bad one line. Catch you later, guys. 